no bitch, be humble. Hold up, bitch, sit down. Hold up, hold up, be humble. Hold up, bitch, sit down. What's up, Angel Babes, and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here on my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my hair at home in between salon visits. Um, so if you have a pixie cut, this video will be beneficial to you. I am not a professional, you guys. This is just something that I do to maintain my pixie cut and something that's super easy for me to do here at home. If you would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it. So the products that you'll need for this look is some shampoo and conditioner. My choice is the Nairobi shampoo and conditioner. You can use whatever shampoo and conditioner that you love and of your choice. You will also need a leave-in conditioner and some foaming lotion. The leave-in that I'm using is the Argan Oil Moroccan Leave-In Conditioner and I'm using the Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. So for my styling tools, I'll be using the Soft Sheen Carson Oil Sheen. I'll also be using the Salon Selectives All Day Control Holding Spray. I'll be using the Design Essential Sleek Edge Control and the Moroccan Organics renewing argan oil and the last thing you'll need are flat irons now i do recommend a half inch flat iron or a 3 8 flat iron or curling iron so my hair is already shampooed and conditioned i'm just going to start off by spraying in some of my argan oil leave-in all over my hair i love this stuff you guys it keeps my hair super moisturized and it smells so good going in with my Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. As you guys can see, I'm using a generous amount of this stuff. I want my hair to be super sleek and super flat. Um, I'm also making sure that I get the product at the roots as well as the tips of my hair so that my hair will be as flat as possible. So next I'm just going to start waving my hair you guys. It didn't take me long to learn this technique however it does take lots and lots of practice. I'm going to make sure all of my hair is super flat and super sleek. You want to look good from all angles of your face. That's why I'm making sure that I get the back and make sure the back is going to be laid flat as well. I'm just going to be using these Junior Wrap Strips while under the dryer. They're just going to help to ensure that my hair is smooth and my nape and my edges lay flat while under here. And I'm also going to be leaving them on for about 10 to 15 minutes. I do not leave them on the entire time while I'm under the dryer. And then I take them off and let my hair dry normal. Going in with my argan oil and I'm making sure I get this all over my hair, especially at the root of my hair before I break my mold.
So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to interrupt this mold and I'm just going to pick up pieces of my hair and just curl them and then kind of flip them going towards the back to give my hair a little bit of style so it won't look so flat. Now I do need a little bit of a haircut because my hair is getting kind of long but what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to run my fingers through these curls so they won't be so uniform and it will kind of just look effortless. So next I'm going to take my head scarf and I'm just going to tie my hair up flat and I'll be back to show you guys the finished results. I'm just going to add some oil sheen and uh, my hair it still needs to be laid down a little bit but for the purpose of this video I got to hurry up. So I'm just spraying some of the oil sheen on my hair. So this is the final look. Yes, girl. Yes, slay. So anyways, you guys, I did not have to use any of my edge control or my holding spray. Normally, I don't have to use these products till about my third or fourth day um, on my mold. So um, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do more videos like this and start an actual hair series on how I treat my hair at home and between salon visits, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video video.